miles away. Said what the things you say. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shan and today I'm coming at you with a food video. You guys really really liked my Nairobi food essentials video which I posted like in January and I kept on getting messages to do more food videos. So in today's video I'm doing just that and I'm going to be reviewing Nairobi's most hyped restaurants. By hyped I mean restaurants that are always on people's Snapchat stories, always on TikTok, always being shared, always being posted about. I want to taste the food, I want to know what all the hype is about and I want to see if they're actually worth the hype if you're interested in this video definitely make sure you subscribe and also like this video it really supports my channel a lot let's try to get this video to 2,000 likes with that being said I am so hungry and I'm ready to start this video so let's go This is the pesto pasta. I told them no meat in it. Normally it comes with chicken or beef, I believe. <sighs> of course they put cheese on it, which I now have to pick off, but hopefully overall it tastes good. I also got this, um, it's called the tropical punch something. This is really nice um, and it's a good thickness. I like a thick juice, but I know some people don't like a thick juice, but I like a thick juice. Anyways, let me try this food and see what it's giving. I ordered this because I heard that this is one of the good items on the menu from a few people so that's why i ordered this but it's okay maybe i don't know meat eaters might have a better experience because it comes with um chicken on it and then maybe they make the chicken really good i don't know but initial thoughts is i but i like the juice though yeah and the surroundings are really cute. I just don't like this thing. Like, what's this? It's kind of killing the vibe. This caution thing. And it goes all around. Um, but other than that, this it's really, really beautiful. Also with the sun. What's poppin'? Who you a Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like stocking. This Josh. It just adds a little something something. This is the best way to eat it. Just like just I don't like wasabi but this ginger just takes it to a whole new level. Try it. I can't blame you. I can't blame you. My own way. 
This thing, amazing. You have to get the stem. The sauce. You need to pick up that sauce. There we go. someone they look at the plate they're like salad I'm like this is not salad boo this is not nothing close to that but I think the magic is this um it's called mushroom ketchup I know that sounds very disgusting but it is so good I literally get this every time I come here just trust me y'all it does not look amazing but it tastes phenomenal Rate this, how's this pasta? Good. On a scale of 1 to 5. 1 to 5. 4. Hmm. Yeah. And then there's this mushroom pasta on this side. And <laughs> it's a 4 out of 5, apparently. And yeah, that's served with like some bread and some cheese to throw on top. So yeah. Period. Everything's gone. Plus the pasta, mm. everything is gone. This food was pretty good. You're just going to the deep end. Don't pick the pieces, just leave it. Oh, oh, slick. Oh, blood, oh, baby, this the blood. Oh, huh. I don't use my head, I let the blood huh. huh. down. These are nice to make you blood. Oh, I can make the Indian nigga hit the grip. Oh, oh I'ma let my head down. Put a part of it. Little did I know that the guy who handed me the serviettes was actually one of the guys who run the place and he watched my disgusted face the entire time I ate. On my way out of the restaurant, the guy who handed me serviette stopped me to ask me feedback on the food. And I literally told him how much I didn't like it and how badly it tasted, only for him to tell me who he actually was. But he took the feedback really, really nicely. And he promised me that the food, especially the vegan food, will improve. So fingers crossed that they do. this is the drink it's super duper refreshing I love every anything that has ginger I love so I'm obsessed with this drink I get it every time I come here okay so I didn't know I ordered this much food but I'm super excited I have these chili mushroom skewers and it comes with like a salad I didn't know about then I have these roasted eggplant I forgot what it's called, I don't have the menu with me but this looks good, it smells yummy and then obviously I decided to have, you know plates of chips this looks delicious, I cannot wait to eat let me, let me do that right now <laughs> This 
um, this aubergine thing was a bit too sweet that's why I took out the pomegranate seeds by itself with just the, the sauce I think this is tahini it tastes good I think the pomegranate and everything makes it too sweet for me so I basically tore it up fries gone of course the mushroom skewers were really good this thing on the other hand the texture is just very soft and also it was too sweet for me and the pomegranate wasn't helping so I was eating it without the pomegranate now I'm about to chug this thing like it's nobody's business Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like stocking. It's Josh. I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Switch the top in. I can put a ball in the end zone. Put a bad bitch in the friend zone.